Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Today, we're going to discuss the differences in the rules between the developer versus the QA engineer, as well as the technical know-how, teamwork and career growth. And of course, as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. While a developer and a QA engineer share the same goal, it's their paths that make all of the difference. The developer works towards making the best possible app or solution, and the QA finds a way to break the application. And no, we're not saying the QA has any ulterior motives. However, the QA is required to think out of the box and place themselves in the worst case scenarios. This is to make sure that the apps do not fail in the live environment. A typical software development life cycle would have the tester come in the later stages. This made repairing errors and bugs difficult and respective. So now software testing is a part of every phase of the software development life cycle. So let's have a look at the developer's role. The final features of the app must be converted into a real application by the developer. He uses several tools, which include programming languages, integrated development environments, data structures, staging servers, and more to get the app rolling. The developer writes the codes and does the basic testing to make sure the app is functional when it comes to the structure and performance. Developers conduct unit tests to ascertain any apparent bugs and make sure that the program works as anticipated. This is a very preliminary check and may not detect all the bugs, and this is where the QA comes in. Now let's have a look at the QA engineer's role. The QA's job is to think of various scenarios to ensure the app works as intended in all situations. The QA reports back any bugs or errors that derail the app's functionality. It's important to address the bugs and defects before the app is completed and delivered. It's the responsibility of the tester to carry out various activities in the app in order to find out if the program is crashing or to come across any unexpected results. So let's have a look at their roles in each stage of app development, starting with the technical know-how. Developers, as well as QAs, must write codes. In order to make the testing quick and easy, tools such as Selenium are used, which is the same as the IDE and programming languages used for development. With test-driven and behavior-driven development framework on the rise, developers need testers to understand the user's perspective. Now let's look at teamwork and growth. It's critical that developers and QAs work hand in hand from start to finish. With continuous integration and testing approaches, companies require both to work together. And while career progression varies from person to person, as it depends on aspirations, ability, situation, et cetera, et cetera, there are many positions for both roles that one can opt for. For developers, this includes becoming managers, architects, business analysts, sales or research roles are open as well. And for QAs, they can become team leads, managers, business analysts, et cetera, et cetera. So now let's look at choosing sides. Is one possible with the other? And why have both developer and QA unless they were crucial for any project? The developer versus the quality assurance engineer is not a conflict in the IT industry. The important thing to remember here is while we all want a successful career, a job is more than just money. It's your ambition, aspiration, experience, and talent that makes you unique. As a good QA professional, you need to be comfortable with conflict. Your testing and reports will be challenged daily and need to be able to pinpoint the source of the bug. As a good developer, you need to be able to take constructive criticism, diagnose the fault, and solve it. So it is essential to identify the difference in each role, but different approaches have proven to be fruitful in finding solutions and offering the best app. So there you have it. We've covered the roles of the developer and the QA engineer, as well as the technical know-how, teamwork and career growth, as well as what to consider when choosing a side. If you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Once again, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.